Now this man needs no introduction, but we might as well give you one anyway. <laughs> George Volta has run the gamut of roles, playing heroes and villains, and even a woman in Hairspray. But many remember him at first as Tony Monero. Is that how you do it? <laughs> Saturday yeah. Night Fever. <laughs> and who could forget Danny Zucker, the character he brought to life in Greece. That was pretty pathetic, wasn't it? What about you? My, my, my Greece move. <laughs> yeah, you've got to look to the side a little bit, you know. <laughs> well, the actor now 58 was in town a few days ago in his role as ambassador for luxury Swiss watchmaker Brightman. Channel News Asia's Hasnita Majid met up with him, very lucky, and talked to him about his most challenging part <laughs> to date. You guys, you have a clean business. But now the cartels are moving north. They want a Ben and John section in aisle three. Thank you for uh, being with us today. Um, you've played a range of characters, you know, in your um, years um, in the movie industry, from the romantic heroes to the villain, and also you even played a win woman in Hairspray. So which is, uh, do you find the most challenging role to play? Oh, well, first of all, I, I like it when there's a challenge. So, uh, you know, to some degree, the more challenging, the more I like it, uh, because there's a joy in knowing that you can accomplish something. Uh, so you have to see that you can accomplish it, uh, and then you can start enjoying the process of that. So I do any role, whether it's uh, dramatic or comedy. Uh, has to be to some degree challenging mm. for me. And so do you prefer to play the hero or the villain? Um, as long as it's well written, I have no preference, but it appears, at, le at least for the last several years, that the villain is, is a role that I'm asked to do mm. quite often. Mm. Uh, so there's been a lot of joy in trying to create different versions of a villain. Um, but the truth is that, that anything that's well written, I enjoy. Okay. Yeah. What do you look for in a script? You mentioned that you, know, you choose um, scripts that are well written. How do, you, how do you choose a script? When do you decide that, yes, this is the, the, the movie that I want to do? Uh, well, after reading it, if it, if, if it takes me on a journey mm -hmm. and I'm moved by it emotionally and I find that uh, it's entertaining to read, there's a good chance it'll be entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, the recent movie in the United States that's out now, it's called Savages. Mm -hmm. When I read it, it was a captivating movie, I mean, a captivating script. Mm -hmm. And I knew with Oliver Stone at the helm, it was going to be a captivating mm -hmm. movie, mm -hmm. and, it, and it is. I suppose two scripts which captivated you for your role as Danny Zuko in Greece mm -hmm. and also um, T Tony Manero in uh, Saturday Night Fever. Fever. Because, and those movies were the ones, uh, your early success were because of the movies. What do you think was the attraction of these characters? Well, Saturday Night Fever, uh, w w again, was a well-written script. Norman Wexler mm -hmm. adapted a, a, t a magazine article, a New York Magazine article. And th this uh, was a very uh, well-done adaptation. And it was an opportunity for me uh, to play a character that had a lot of substance for a young man. I mean, he was only 19 mm -hmm. or 20, mm -hmm. and he had a lot of depth for a young guy. Mm -hmm. And it gave me an opportunity to show off a talent that I had, which was dancing. But it, it afforded me this in a very organic way. This is a, a very natural way. Um, so this combination was so powerful that it, it ended up in a, an Oscar nomination mm -hmm. because it was just one of those things that triggered trends in the world as well as uh, a sign of the times or a, what would you call a, a slice of life in New York, but it was also happening in many places around the world. Mm -hmm. It's uh, this quintessential uh, coming of age of a young man, mm -hmm. you know. I must say that um, you played Danny Zuko very well because for a long time I had a girl crush on him and I was only seven. Uh, <laughs> but then that was another story because I had done the play for a year uh, around the country mm -hmm. and, and New York on Broadway. And, uh, but, I, but I played a different part in the play. And then when I got offered the movie, I was very familiar with this material, mm -hmm. seeing it every day, playing in it every day for a year. So I had a, an edge, I had a, uh, a, a leg up, if you will, on 
that movie mm -hmm. because I knew all the tricks to, yeah. to make that character work and all the, the excitement of that role I saw many people do it and I said that works that works that doesn't work this works better but well, this looks good I mean I, I, I had all the library mm -hmm. of information to make Danny Zuko work at a, a, a new level, you know, if you will. He worked for me. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Speaking of musicals, uh, Hairspray was the last musical that you did. Yes. Can we expect another musical from you in future? I would love to do another musical. It's just that they're so far and few between. Mm. It's very difficult to find one, uh, you know, especially for a man. You know, it's it's a uh, it's harder. Mm -hmm. uh, but boy, when I find them, they work. They become very big hits, you know, and uh, I would love to uh, find another one mm -hmm. if I could.